Hi everybody, in this video we are going to talk about the Sagas marker presumptions. The model is linear in parameter and correctly specified. Uh, I will start off with some intuition, then I will provide some example. Let's go. Linearity means in two sense, linear in parameter and linear in variables. Uh, by assumption, the requesting to be linear in parameter, not necessarily linear in variable. In example 1, which we're providing here, the yi is equal to beta 0, beta 1, xi plus the ui. Beta 0 and beta 1, we can see it's obviously linear in parameter, and my xi also linear in variables also. Uh, this is fine, it's the both condition that's linear in parameter and linear in variables. Let's see that's one more example, it's yi is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1, xi, ui, xi squared. Beta 0 and beta 1 is my parameter and the linear in parameter, they said it's fine, it's the condition to be linear in parameters. However, xi is square, is non-linear, but for us to be, it will be enough to be linear in parameter, even though here is not linear in variables, still they said it's fine, it's conditions of our assumption want to be linear in parameters. <coughs> uh, let's see, that's the one more example. The yi is equal to beta 0 plus ln, the ln, beta 1 xi plus ui. Here my parameter beta 0 ln beta 1. Since the ln beta 1 is my slope, it's non-linear. We can see the non-linear in parameters. However, xi, my variables, linear in variables. Even though it's linear in variables, for us it's important to be linear in parameters. It's not satisfying the condition to be linear in parameters. Since it's not satisfying, it's violating the assumptions to be linear in parameters. If is the dead part, the to be linear in parameter is the clear, now let's we'll talk about the correctly specified. What does mean by correctly specified? Write it's the one example. The weight is the function of the beta 0, beta 1 is the age. Here the question that's arising is the from the economic point of view, the age, my uh, x should be that's the what functional form it's supposed to take. Is here if we will plot the scatter plot the my wage, the versus my age, and this is the my population regression line. Is it best fit that's the linear or the non-linear form of my that's the age? And we deciding that's the which one is that's the best fit, and it's the what functional form have to take has to take my age, wage plus beta zero beta one age, or this age supposed to be square. This is about is the functional form. That's all for today. Thanks for watching my video.